Good morning, everybody. Your boy Ray literally rolled out of bed about five minutes ago, and I'm already having a freaking kick butt day. You can be hopeful you guys are as well. I'm so dang floored for today's video because it's right up our alley. It's easily one of the biggest Easter eggs ever found in Brawl Stars history, and on top of that, it is incredibly unique as well as extremely fun. You gotta love the Brawl Stars dev team for stuff like this. My goodness. To sum things up before we get deeper into it in today's video, there was a game found within Brawl Stars, so a game within a game, and it has everything to do with 8-bit. So guys, let's get straight away into it. Here we go! Alright everybody, so before we get into all the information I know of so far about this Easter egg, because I must warn you, this is still kind of breaking. It kind of popped up around an hour ago, so people are still trying to wrap their heads around it. And I would like to get it out to you as soon as I can, so you guys can enjoy it as well. But we do have some other very important news to cover at the end of the video today. Still pertaining to this Easter egg, basically connecting the dots to a bigger theory surrounding it. Why is this Easter egg in the game? What does it mean? mean for the future of Brawl Stars. We have a really solid theory running on that end, um, and we'll be going over that. But first, we gotta get into this actual sneak peek. Also, if you guys happen to see my community post that I posted yesterday, today's video was planned to be the next episode of the WKBRL livestream breakdown, a big part four coming your way. But we're gonna be postponing that for tomorrow's video because I think this takes a little bit more precedent, as well as I feel like this video today is gonna be an absolutely fantastic precursor to the livestream breakdown because believe it or not they're connected there's theories that coincide with the stuff found in today's videos so hope you guys are looking forward to that one as well definitely works super super hard on it <laughs> but guys let's get straight away into everything that is happening right now definitely had talked long enough so let's do it okay everybody so we're starting things off in today's video over on my partner in crimes twitter page because develop art was the very first person to discover this crazy easter egg inside of brawl stars so he definitely deserves a lot of our credit i'm going to be leaving a link in the description down below to his Twitter. Make sure to go check him out. He's always keeping up with this crazy theory stuff. Guys, we got good people on our side for the theory crafting, that's for sure. Dev is amazing. It all started with this post early this morning for your boy here by Develop Art saying, hashtag WKBRL theory, something weird is happening to 8-bit. What the heck? Guys, if you look at it, and you can experience this for yourself in game, and we're about to show you how to do it here shortly, but 8-bit has lost his face and he has some some coding issues on his hardware or on the actual screen of his character. So really, really interesting. Now, in order to get deeper into this Easter egg and to figure out what the code is, you must click on 8-Bit eight times while he's wigging out to activate a game that you can play. 8-Bit, you're playing 8-Bit in Brawl Stars. What an absolutely amazing Easter egg. Again, I love Brawl Stars, the dev team, amazing. <laughs> but it's called Project Laser. So transitioning over to Brawl Stars here so I can show you guys just how to do this on your own so you can have fun with it as well. So all you really have to do is go to the Brawler Select screen, hit 8-Bit, and then wait a few seconds for the screen to start waking out. We're met with the creepy code. Now the next thing you need to do is hit the 8-Bit anywhere eight times and we get a slow countdown to zero. Now we wait a second and then it cues us into our browser app on our device and we're met with this very eerie code. We have things such as bad or missing, who, exe, bad or missing, what is 8-Bit? Truth lies inside medium density fiberboard to extract or compress truth error in configure system line 86 to extract or compress the truth it eats at your soul but if you click your screen on this code it boots you into an epic designed game here project laser with an awesome animation we have 8-bit drifting off into the background guys a game within a game i'm telling you the brawl stars dev team Amazing! So if we hit start game, it cues us into a really well thought out game inside of Brawl Stars where 8-Bit is the main character. Now we're not going to be playing through this whole entire thing. I want that to be left up to you guys. I want to be the news guy, right? We're going to be covering the interesting information that comes from this thing and what it all means. So moving along to another tweet here by Development Art and to give you guys a little context, in Project Laser, this game that we have in Brawl Stars for 8-Bit, there's a grand total of three small mini-games that you must complete in order to beat 
this game. So just know that moving on. But as you can see, development art goes on and saying in this tweet, I won. This message definitely means something. WKBRL theory. So if we take a closer look here, it says mission accomplished. Victory does not lead to liberation. A supermassive black hole still lives deep within the core of your cabinet. Will you ever find it? Now to give you guys some really obvious foreshadowing here, this message is incredibly important for the bigger theory that we have at the end of the video today. Why is 8-Bit getting so much attention and how it connects to the WKBRL live stream and future updates? So make sure to stick around for that. It's epic. <laughs> so moving down the timeline, after you get done completing the very first mini game, as you can see another tweet here by Develop Art, I got in the special black hole. Take a look at the images here as you're transferred to the second level of Project Laser. We have 8-Bit going into the black hole, looking all sad, feels bad. Man, we have some text here. Like all journeys into the soul via an ill-conceived space game based on an arcade cabinet, piloting a ship while fighting militant dogs and chickens. What you've learned is not the end of the story. Super, super interesting. And again, I feel like this text has a little bit of a deeper meaning to it, which we will be going over later on in today's video. So then entering into mini game number two, the black hole takes us to a different setting and 8-bit is becoming namaste with himself. We have a different language, no longer in English, which is really, really interesting as well. Some other really awesome 8-bit artwork of 8-bit <laughs> uh, meditating on top of a hill. I believe it is just a blown out picture of this one here. It looks like he's trying to figure something out deeper within himself. Another little foreshadow. <laughs> um, but then another one here before you start the second mini game. Really cool. So some other imagery of stage number two looks like he has completed his training so he can defeat the enemies here in this stage. Some of the gameplay there in the bottom left as well as some dialogue with a slug colt. He looks like the enemy there and of course it is a different language but we have some translation here for you guys. So of course coming in close is Nana. Guys, she has appeared now twice in these Brawl News episodes for translations, so be sure to go check her out. She makes amazing artworks out there. One of my favorite people to follow in the community. Super, super cool. But going over all the translations from the imagery that we have in the mini game number two that we just went over here from Nana. So the formation was reversed. Now it's your turn. What are you saying? Ha ha ha. <laughs> hmm. What are you laughing at? Did you make a joke? No, I'm not joking. 8-bit win. It is not the enemy that should be mastered. Anger pierces through you like a fake coin. Don't give up here. Finish retry. So nothing incredibly important with the translations there in my opinion. It just seems to me like normal game dialogue, right? So you know what you're doing in mini game number two, but of course in a different language. So it's cool to have that translation on hand. So once again, thank you Nana, but let's move on. So moving along to the third and final mini game here in Project Laser after you complete the second mini game where the setting is some sort of storage facility. Checking out a tweet from Loxar here, um, but it looks really, really bleak, right? The colors are deep, dark, purple, we have some eerie graffiti in the background, broken monitors. It looks like he's really trying to get deep within himself and repair something broken. Again, more foreshadowing. <laughs> and taking a look at some of the threads going on about this third mini game, there's just so much more to it. And I hope you guys experience it for yourself because it is incredibly fun. But here's some other interesting texts that I want to break down with you guys. Tweeted out by Dor T. Mos. If you accept the coin, perhaps you will find out who you are. Or maybe you will just defeat what you are. Okay, don't ever say you didn't warn you. Starcade breakdown start game. Guys, the artwork is amazing and it's very interesting. So fast forwarding here to the ending of mini game number three, we have development art tweeting out, after beating last game with the boss, you see this Ferris wheel and rocket. After eight seconds, Brawl Stars opens back up. So checking out the imagery here at the very end of the game, you went deep into the recesses of your memory. In doing so, you destroyed yourself. Game not over! <laughs> and then that is of course the end of Project Laser with what I know of. So now that we're done with an overview of Project Laser, kind of piecing out the juicier details from the text and the imagery in it, it's time to go over some of the theories that the community has very briefly, and then I want to go over what I think it is. As you can see, develop art tweeting out here with a really cool theory that makes a lot of sense. It makes even more sense now. <laughs> Game one is the first version of Brawl Stars. Project 
with laser and 8-bit is in space. Game 2 is the second version of Brawl Stars Slug Fest and 8-bit kills slugs. Game number 3 is the current version of Brawl Stars and something is next. So I just realized I've been calling this whole thing Project Laser, which I think is freaking cool, but I think as develop art is saying here that that's just the title of the first game, so I don't know, but I really enjoy that name as is. But he brings up a really great point. If you guys didn't know, the very first thought up version of Brawl Stars, the setting was meant to be in space. There was renditions, there was artwork that the Brawl Stars dev team shared with us a few different times of different characters that worked in that setting and some artwork of that actual setting for the game. But then version two of Brawl Stars, the one that we're more accustomed with if you've played for quite some time here in the game is Slugfest. So like that Wild West theme back in beta phases as well as a little bit further on until version three, the one in the final game, the final mini game, the one that we're currently in. But either way, it's really, really cool theory. Going over some more theories here inside the community, develop art once again saying another theory. What if the rocket on the right represents the past in Brawl Stars and the Ferris wheel is the left representing a future that we're moving into? So it makes a lot of sense, right? The rocket representing the very first rendition of Brawl Stars and the Ferris wheel, this big change in Brawl Stars, this big overarching theme, this big theory that we've been working on for a really long time, the thing that we're moving into. And you know, Ape is kind of on the precipice of it. He's just chilling there watching it. So the final theory we're going to be getting into today before we get into to my own opinions on this, what I think it means connecting it to the WKBRL live stream, we have another one here by Development Art. Brawl Stars was something different in the past because 8-Bit was looking to pass things in his memories. During the mini games, we were getting a lot of hints and references to the past of Brawl Stars with old characters and names. So everybody, transitioning into phase number two of today's video, what does all of this mean? Why was this crazy Easter egg placed inside of Brawl Stars and why is 8-Bit the main character within it. So to try to answer this question, I would like to start off with a sound clip from the WKBRL live stream. As you all know, I am entrenched in this sucker at the moment, currently trying to make an episode four, breaking down all the new sounds. But this one very much so connects with all of the things happening inside the game right now with this new game inside of it. So I'm going to be kicking it to past Ray because I think he did a pretty decent job breaking down this sound clip for all of you guys. And you guys are going to be getting a sneak peek for tomorrow's video on the live stream. So let's get into it. Passion numéro 8, deux points. Sujet à des délires mégalomaniaques, point. Convaincu d'être ninja, point. Persuadé de pouvoir voler dans l'espace, point. Sujet à compulsion, deux points. Doit appuyer sur ses propres boutons dans un ordre numérique spécifique lorsque la situation ne tourne pas à son avantage. Point. Le patient numéro 8 est un paradoxe ambulant. Point. Note de points. Le patient numéro 8 est une machine lente, virgule, colérique et manquant d'assurance. Point. Il lui est, ouvrez les guillemets, virtuellement, fermez les guillemets, impossible de se séparer de son pistolet laser. Point. Toute provocation pourrait avoir des résultats meurtriers. Point. Assure que son mode par défaut est rage. Point. Certain de ne pas être apprécié par son entourage sans pouvoir donner des exemples précis pour se justifier. Point. Des examens supplémentaires sont nécessaires pour explorer l'obscurité dissimulée dans cette machine composée de panneaux de fibres à densité moyenne. Point. Nicole, marquez-le pour jeudi en 8 et mardi en 15. Ah, mais c'est pas éteint ça, et si je... So it kind of bites that this needs to be translated because it is so dang long, but I promise this is the only one that you guys are gonna have to hear me read off. But it is incredibly interesting, probably one of the most interesting audio clips in today's video. And it's all about 8-Bit and how possibly he could be that evil character that we thought he was for a long time. Patient number eight, prone to megalomaniacal illusions, convinced that he is a ninja, convinced that he can fly in space, subject to compulsions, must press his own buttons in 
specific numerical order when the situation does not turn to his advantage. Patient number eight is a walking paradox. Note patient number eight is slow, angry, insecure machine. It is virtually impossible for him to part with his laser gun. Any provocation can have lethal results. Make sure his default mode is rabid. Ensures that he is not appreciated by his entourage without being able to give a precise example to justify himself. Further tests are needed to explore the darkness inside the machine made out of medium density fiberboards. Nicole, who is speaking to someone, mark it for Thursday the 8th and Tuesday the 15th. This getting an unheard response, but let's continue here. Ah, but isn't that off? and it cuts out on us. So of course, patient eight in this audio clip is 8-Bit, the brawler we have in Brawl Stars. And it seems the setting is he's getting like a mental evaluation or the person is warning another about his behaviors that are kind of hard to deal with. He is small, angry, slow, deadly. And to be honest, 8-Bit just seems to be a little bit of a handful in this audio clip. He has illusions that he's a ninja. He thinks he can fly in outer space. So I think the biggest takeaway from this audio clip that everyone is talking about inside the community is this darkness within 8-bit. So I think it's referring to the virus 8-bit skin that we have in Brawl Stars where he kind of turned into this evil character in the game and kind of ties back into past theories that we've had in Brawl Stars where these evil characters are kind of rising and having a plot inside of Brawl Stars with evil Gene and virus 8-bit and the Supercell Makes campaign skins that just concluded. Um, two villain characters were selected, no heroes from that campaign. So it's all really Really, really interesting. All right, everybody, Future Ray here. Did you miss me? How did Pass Ray do? Hopefully he wasn't too boring, Pass Ray sometimes. You never trust that guy. But connecting it to what is currently going on in Brawl Stars, this one definitely rang a bell for me when I first saw it. Victory does not lead to liberation. A supermassive black hole still lives deep within the core of your cabinet. Will you ever find it? So we definitely have some similarities here to this game, as well as some of what they were talking about in that audio clip, the darkness within 8-bit. We have several other examples of imagery and dialogue pointing to that fact that 8-Bit is trying to go deeper and deeper within himself, represented by the levels of the mini games in this bigger game. In the second stage, he's going into the black hole that he found, and once he arrives there, he tries to find some inner peace, meditating there and taking out the bad guys. And again, revisiting this text as you're entering into the second mini game, like all journeys into the soul via an ill conceived space game based on an arcade cabinet, piloting a ship while fighting militant dogs and chickens, what you've learned is not the end of the story. So we have another example here of 8-Bit venturing into the deepest parts of his soul, trying to defeat some militant enemies, dogs and chickens. And then of course, moving along to imagery in mini game number three, touching on the same exact thing. If you accept the coin, perhaps you will find out who you are, or maybe you will just defeat what you are. Okay, don't ever say you didn't warn you. So of course it is 8-bit like talking to himself, saying that you might defeat you. And if we're seeing the 8-bit that we're playing in game as the good guy, and we're trying to defeat this bad guy at the end, and it's you defeating you, we can almost assume that 8-bit is both a good guy and a bad guy, or he has a dark side that he must defeat the darkness within him. Really interesting. And then finally, at the very end of the game in general, we have 8-bit here staring off into the sunset with with a ferris wheel and a rocket along with him. Met with this text, you went deep into the recesses of your memory. In doing so, you destroyed yourself. So with us knowing the plot and the purpose of this game overall, 8-Bit trying to defeat an enemy within him, him himself, we know that since he completed it and he won, he defeated that evil within him. Really, really awesome. And I really like the imagery as well with the Ferris wheel and the rocket at the very end of the game, almost saying that since you defeated it, we can move on. I guess almost saying that 8-Bit has some very important significance moving into this next phase of Brawl Stars that we have with the carnival theme and the ferris wheel almost like 8-bit must do something he's the one that needs to trigger that change it's really awesome but the main question is is what does this mean what is the purpose of this easter egg in general well if you ask me i'm almost 100 percent certain i would say 95 percent that this has nothing to do with like a season three or a season four brawl pass update or just our traditional updates right i think this is the next piece to the puzzle the next big clue or step
step into this carnival theory, this overarching theme that we've been going off of for several updates now. But guys, I could very well be wrong. This could be an update or something to come, but I think this is more important, right? We're kind of working our way up to something much more important in Brawl Stars, which again, we touch on in the WKBRL um, video tomorrow. Much, much more on that. Some talk about a potential shape-shifting brawler in that video. Um, a little bit more on 8-Bit and his entourage with Evil 8-Bit or Virus 8-Bit. It's all really, really exciting. Definitely gonna have to make some changes to it though after knowing this easter egg which feels bad man but this video is most definitely long enough make sure to let me know what you guys are thinking about all this interesting stuff um it's awesome i'm really really appreciative to the brawl stars dev team to kind of feed off of all of this and i'm sure you guys heard in the chief challenge that danny and the dev team are kind of focusing on trying to have fun with the mystery trying to tell a story getting people connected with that and i love that i feel like that in and of itself is just as fun as a regular update coming to brawl stars i would even say i have more fun trying to figure some of this stuff out which is why i make 35 minute videos going over theories but yeah you guys i'm rambling here at the end hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to slap a like on it i'd really really appreciate that and yeah with that being said make sure to keep having fun with brawl stars we'll see you all in the next video have a fantastic rest of your day guys peace out